six personnel changes and one positional switch for the All Whites after Thursday's goal is drawn in Auckland. The attacking trio completely changes. McCowart, Just and Grieve in for Garbutt, Barbarousas and Mata. Excitingly, Marco Rojas will join them in the front third and has been given a free roll in attack. Veteran Michael Boxall joins the back four, pushing Tim Payne out to right back. Joe Bell starts in midfield and wears the captain's armband. Ten of this eleven have played football in Wellington at some stage. Alex Grieve is the exception. Payne doing well to dispossess China and also finding a pass to Stam and it's just. Bell slides it in and a sliding challenge denies Alex Grieve a shot on goal but the pass into his feet was eye-catching Zhu Chenji making the sliding challenge and denying the shot from Grieve. Callum McCallum get plenty of touches, hasn't had too many himself, he liked us, so wants to get involved in the action. Boxer with a solid header to defuse any danger at the defensive end. China, though, will come again. And a shot from a long way out and tipped over by Ollie Sale. The first real chance of the game, and it came from Wei Xiao, the left boot. Let it go, and Ollie Sale had to make the save. New Zealand are very keen to win possession back when they lose it. They've done it again. Now Eli just with a chance to perhaps stretch the leagues a little bit. Tries the little one-two with his old mate Callum McCowan, which doesn't come off. And now, again, perhaps a chance for China to break. Here's a good opportunity and another good save by Sale. Still there for China, but getting back and hacking it away. Tim Payne, really good opportunity for Wu Lei in a second. Big save of the afternoon by Ollie Sale. When they go for it, it is at pace. And China again demonstrating the strength in counter-attacks. Finding Cheng Pu, who then rolls the ball into Wu Lei. Just wonder what a goal would do as well. They're playing well, New Zealand. They've had most of the ball. They've created some chances. They're getting it into Marco Rojas. A goal would just surely be a huge release of a pressure belt for them if they can find a way to score one. They might now. Eli just looking to set himself up. Blocked. Stavonich. Blocked again. Still there for New Zealand. Now Libby Kakachi. And again, it's blocked. That is goal bound. That was travelling. Still there for Tim Payne. He skips around a would-be defender. And too close to goalkeeper Jan Jungling, but New Zealand are banging on the door. As New Zealand push their fullbacks high. Here's Michael Boxer. Just. Now Tim Payne. Crisp, slick passes. Rojas. He's closely watched. Gets it back to Bell. Tight areas to work in for New Zealand. And the shot comes from this time, and that one is on target from Marco Staminich. And Jan Yunning having to make a save for the first time. Kauchi's pass doesn't find its mark, but he scampers across to try and regain it for New Zealand. Here's Marco Staminich again. Thought about a shot, then thought better of it. Really tight areas here. Rojas might be able to unlock something. Michael Boxer with the shot. Well, that would have been the most unlikely of sources for a drought-breaking goal. He's never scored for New Zealand, Michael Boxer, in 41 internationals. He probably hasn't come closer. Suggestion that there could be a short corner, though it looks like it's just been to draw a defender out of the box. Correct, towards the near post from McCowan. Easily cleared, only as far as Joe Bell. Eli just helps it back into a crowded penalty area and hit it goalwards. And that was Staminich that time. Hands to the head and then the face from Marco Staminich. He made pretty good contact but just couldn't direct it on goal. We had Pinnaker, Boxall and Staminich in that back post. Eli just does well to get his head up and find them. Straight into the back of Alex Grieve. New Zealand's possessional advantage growing by the minute. Here they come again to New Zealand. Brought down and pointing to the spot is referee Kim Woo-sung driving into the box. 
and earning the penalty for New Zealand. Eli just. And New Zealand do have a chance now, a golden opportunity to break this goal-scoring drought. Well, just has been hit hard, and it comes off the back of some good build-up play. Joe Bell into Cullen McCarrick, round the corner. Just lovely touch to take it beyond the first defender, and the second brings him crashing down to earth. Is the drought about to end? It is grief for New Zealand. And it is a very, very average penalty. And the goal scoring drought continues. 573 minutes. And New Zealand weren't able to open the account from the 12 yard. Here's McCowan all the way down in the corner and has the ball taken off him. And uh, does his best to make it difficult for China to get it away and has done really well. Just has the ball taken off, though, by Jean Lenpeng. Back it comes, though, through Marco Stavanich, who's fouled. So another set-piece situation for New Zealand as we head into the final five minutes of regulation time in this first half. Wu Lei. What can Rojas unlock here? The delivery's good, and it's an own goal! Well, wouldn't you know it? Then off the back of a goal-scoring drought, the drought is broken by an opposition player. They're almost embarrassed, but I'm sure this has come off Zhu Chen Yi as Marco Rojas's delivery was key and caused uncertainty. And Zhu Chen Yi, I'm sure, has headed this beyond his own goalkeeper. Happy for play to continue for the meantime, just while this move plays out. It's a good one too, and Tim Payne hits it back across his own goal. And that will be the last action of this first half. He'll know which of these Chinese players has this in their locker. It looks to be like a direct shot. There's no one really looking for a cross. And it is a direct shot. And tipped over by Oli Sale. That is probably creeping in the top corner. And Oli Sale is apoplectic with somebody. It's... Wu Shi, that's standing in front of him. It looks like Clayton Lewis and Max Mata are the most active of the always bench at the moment. Good run there by Eli Justin. He's clipped on halfway, which is going to lead to a yellow card for Xu Jin. Very clever from Eli Just. Here's Boxall stepping into midfield. Marco Staminich looking for a little one-two, which he gets. Lots of Chinese players in the way. Kakachi, a really strong challenge by Zhang Lin-Ping. And Libby Kakachi has stayed down. Play goes on. In fact, there are two New Zealand players down, so they're well and truly undermanned at the moment and might get paid for that. Here is Badun, saved by Oli Sale. Ling Liang Ping. Not able to get the better of Michael Boxall there. I think we've seen just a slight change, a slight recalibration. Well, here's Oli Sale out of his area. It's poked past him, but past the byline as well. Wu Lei again involved. Oli Sale out on the edge of his area. Didn't get it. Wu Lei poked it past him, but off target. And I think a retreating Michael Boxall probably would have stopped it anyway. So Max Mata and Clayton Lewis, we're told, will replace Grieve and Rojas for New Zealand. Maybe a chance, a final chance for... Bro has to get involved. The coward. Now just Eli just. Just wide from just. A third appearance in all white colours for Max Mata and Clayton Lewis in the city of his birth. Will also make his way on for appearance number 23. And Marco Rojas makes way. Tim Payne. Elo just bout. Good passing movement for New Zealand. There's something at the end of it. A shot by Lewis. No, it's into the path of Max Mata. And a sliding tackle from Zhu Shenji denies Max Mata what would have been his first all whites goal. Well, not for the first time today. Zhu Shenji comes up with a last ditch tackle, but it came off the back. It was forced rather. Matt Garbutt into the action. Grew up on the Kapiti Coast, not far from here. And Callan Elliott. 
into the action as well, four seasons at the Wellington Phoenix. Here's Callan Elliott getting involved early with his fresh legs, bursting forward. What a run from Elliott. Carpenter's outside him. If he can play him in, he might go himself. Callan Elliott running out of room now. He retains the ball, just has to stay on side. Does Matt Garbutt? Callan Elliott tracks back. The door's just shut on him at the wrong time there. Turn, turn, turn around. Callum, Callum, get there. You can see a new spine of this All Whites team and the substitutes Lewis, Garbutt, and Mata. Not just happy to win this game 1 0, want to make it emphatic. Here is Lewis. It's a lucky rebound and they carry on. Bell helps it forward. Good run and shot and goal! And New Zealand have found a goal after all of this time. And who else but the man who was determined to do so, Matthew Garbin, in the region of his birth, seizing on to a lovely pass from Joe Bell and directing his shot beyond Chinese keeper Yan Yunling. And New Zealand do have a second. And Matthew Garvin has written his name across this game in big, bold letters. So it's Nando Pinnaker who has come off. And it is a debut for Kyle Adams. He's been around for a long, long time. And goal that day for New Zealand was Glenn Moss. He was the goalkeeping coach. Now Garvin looking to add a second. Gee, what an impact from the sub, Matt Garvin. Good dominant win in the air by Kyle Adams, and then Joe Bell is on the receiving end of a roughhouse challenge from Young Ming. And the yellow card results. Kick. Back to back. Indeed. Still got a bit of work to do before that is achieved. Just trying to come again. Wu Lei on the edge. Can't get the ball out from under his feet. Bartun. Gets it across, and arriving at the near post was Wu Lei, and he's frustrated as Oli Sale comes up big. They started with six players, 23 or under, and they've got younger as the afternoon's got on. Last opportunity perhaps for China as Lin Liang Ming brings it forward. 24 for the Chinese, back across the six-yard box and hit it in. Bakun has scored for China. They have a consolation. Ollie Sailor's finally beaten and he's annoyed about it. But Barton off the bench and heading home. China's opening goal. Well, no celebrating from Barton. It is a wonderful header, worthy of some fireworks. Still time to play as Garvin ceases upon it for New Zealand. The All Whites emerge from a goalless drought and for the first time in a year savour the taste of victory a first half own goal by Chinese centre-back Zhu Chenqi Matthew Garvin off the bench with an eye-catching performance and a very well taken goal a late consolation from Bardun for China but it wasn't enough full-time in Wellington New Zealand 2 China PR 1.